What's up guys, my name is Mitch. I uh, live here in South Carolina and I thought I'd want to make a video of a review of the Ambient Weather WS2000 weather station that I have. I've had for a few months now. I had the uh, Ambient Weather WS2902A, now it's B. And uh, I just kind of want to make a review of what I thought of this weather station and the cool things that you can add, The what makes the display over here so much better than maybe the other one and um, just just what's what's so unique about this weather station and ambient weather altogether is a company which I love um, so I got two really cool features obviously that comes with the weather station but this is what comes with ambient weather as far as the things that you can do the network uh, you can look at the temperatures the, as far as um, everybody else's information on their weather stations radar things like that so let's just jump right into it before we start I ask that you could subscribe I have a lot of videos on ambient weather products and I plan to make more because I just think it's cool to incorporate your weather station with the weather around that's going on I think it's just a cool look and um, it's definitely definitely a huge interest of mine is that they continue to get their product and to review it and just I mean I don't have any complaints so it's it's awesome and I just ask you guys to subscribe if you want to keep up and just get a let's get, get that back going and just get uh check out more of their product live and in action with the weather environment going on. So with that being said, let's jump right into the review. So this is the display, and I had to do this video in uh, two different times, so you might notice the temperatures are definitely a lot different in certain par uh, parts of the video. Um, I do it the next morning for this part but anyways the display is really uh, one of two big things that really make this weather station great and worth the money um, and especially if you're a person who doesn't really care about looking at the weather away from their house it's just all about checking out the display when you're at your house whether it's sitting in the kitchen the living room your room or whatever but um, has everything right here. You don't have to really touch any buttons to really figure out any information. You got your temperature from your main sensor array out out um, from wherever you that's located outside. You got your wind speed. You got your feels like. You got your dew point. You got your humidity. Um, Ten minute average speed. Daily max um, gust. You got where the sun's at that part of the day. The UV index. Um, the time um, that the sun's going to come up, the time that's going to set, uh, barometer meter, um, the rainfall. Uh, what, what's what's what, what's really cool for me is that you got this whole different this whole section of uh, inside the rainfall section. It just shows yearly how much you've gotten for the month, the week, the hourly um, for that specific hour, and just for an event whether that's a storm or just a steady several rain um, rainfall several hour rainfall event so um, next cool thing is uh, it shows your connectivity and everything if you connect to the ambient weather uh, network uh, um, it shows if you're connected to the uh, weather underground network your time date you know all that good stuff one really cool thing man is is this the carport you notice it says that that's from my te my temperature that came with this weather station um the other temperature sensor that's sitting and you can name it carport which i did so it's sitting in my carport and it, it shows the temperature for that and, and it'll it'll kind of alternate too and it'll go to something else here in a second then from where it says carport you can push this channel button or something you can make it actually where it does it itself too where it just switches through all your channels depending on how many uh, temperature sensors you have and uh, push this shows your indoor temperature from the temperature sensor that you actually get with the weather station which mine's inside shows my temperature inside so it has all this information right here and this is just a really techy uh, display uh, I love it. It just looks really good and really anywhere in your house. And it just, it, it, it's, it's a really cool as, uh, asset to this weather station. And definitely kind of what, what sells a lot of people with this weather station for sure is the display. It just looks way better. Um, 
So uh, that's the display. Let's move on. Well, well, you know what? Before we move on, I'm going to show this couple features to it. You, you can you can dim it out like that. You can brighten it up like that. You also can just turn it off, turn it back on. You can use a white background if you're into that. Um, put it back to black. Um, you can change the barometer reading. Um, and this is where you kind of alternate through your channels and stuff like that. And we're gonna go into this next. Then from this screen, you can press this button right here. Flips through your indoor temperature, five minute readings. So if you don't really care about looking it on on Weather Underground or the Ambient Weather Network app or anything like that, and you wanna check it out on your display, it's all right here to check it out. So you can flick it again. It kind of gives you a line graph of, uh, of your pressure barometer meters. And uh, you kind of go through that. And that, that is just a just a really cool feature. You can click settings. You can, you know, and it explains all this when you're setting it up. You, you can set all this up. You can go down to multi-sensor setup. Click that, past it. Click that and check it out. My carport sensor's up there. And this is a cool, cool thing, man. Check it out. If you can get up to eight different sensors and you can edit them, name them whatever you want. It'll tell you what the temperature is right then and register them and everything. Really, really cool aspect of this. So you go back and you can change it from Fahrenheit. You know, you can, you can just edit a bunch of different things. Uh, you can set up alarms and things like that for your indoor temperature, outdoor temperature, dew points, etc. cetera. But you go through that again. Um, you can calibrate different things depending on how you want to set it. Factory, you know, that's not, not a whole lot to that, but just cool, cool stuff. Display, for some people, makes this well worth the price. And honestly, I don't think the price is that bad in the first place, to be honest. So uh, the display is awesome. It looks, it looks super techy. Um, it looks like <laughs> your own meteorologist in your own home. Like, come on, come up there to your... Uh, you know, weather station, you have to explain it to them because nobody really knows what the difference between a dew point and humidity is. Just things like that. So it, it's, a, it's a really cool thing, a cool, really cool looking thing in your house, especially if you have it set up where, um, you know, the cords aren't showing or something like that. So really cool aspect of it. So we're going to move away from the display and we're going to move to the next thing we're going to talk about, which is kind of the network and the things that you can add to this weather station. Uh, let's go on and move on. So to that. one thing that really sold me on ambient weather is their network. Of course, you can use Weather Underground, which I use also, but they have really improved their uh, network as far as um, on their app, on um, the information you retrieve off your weather station. So this is my kind of dashboard, if you will. Uh, outdoor temperature, uh, my sensor um, on my carport, uh, rainfall, winds, all that good stuff is all right here on the app, and it's easy, easily accessible. It tells you how your batteries is in your uh, is in your on your sensor array. Indoor temperature tells all that. You can look at all this outside of your home. You know, when, if you're at work, vacation, whatever. Even even predicts your own little weather forecast here. So it's really neat, really awesome, and um, you you can retrieve a lot of history off your weather station um, here everything like that. So uh, another cool thing is they've recently added this as their own almost radar feed feature and temperature feature winds and everything. Check it out. I live in South Carolina, so it's pretty warm out there. But check it out everybody else with the ambient weather station. And it shows you can check out their dashboard. I can just click that random person's dashboard there, um, that and so forth. And uh, it's just really, really cool thing you can do here. So wind speeds. Um, even as a color-coded network, as if you will, that, um, and I'm in a very bad Wi-Fi spot right now, so you can't really see it. It's coming up a little bit now, but very cool, very cool aspect of this. Uh, also has um, who's all seeing rain out there, um, and in a second the radar will kind of come through. But very cool. Very cool aspect of this. You can see who's getting rain on an ambient weather station out there, and it's starting to come in now. But uh, it show it has its own radar, so <laughs> if you know that it kind of goes off of. But it's it's a really cool, really cool thing here. 
quick here to another thing that's great about this weather station only WS 2000 and 5000 you can they're adding things that you can put on this weather station here's a lightning detector it's it's out of stock it says in stock but it's really out of stock $44 it's on the site you probably can get it off Amazon too but another lightning detector I mean that that's super interesting to me which is something I'm definitely going to get and I'm also going to make a review about too um, if the time's right and everything like that, but lightning detector coming up and that's something that's probably going to display on the dashboard Really cool probably going to display on the actual um, Ambient weather display in your house uh, Which actually I know they are they're going to um, Add different areas that they can you know show where this detector uh, the lightning detector is showing lightning and everything like that So and check it out. They, they recently have uh made a soil moisture sensor that you can add uh, test the uh, moisture of your soil if you go down here zero to 100 percent haven't read a whole lot into this but that's pretty cool you, i don't know exactly how it works but i imagine you stick it in the ground and it tests your how dry or wet your soil is so that's really cool sorry i got some things coming in with twitter um so you go to here and check it out uh one of eight sensors you can add to this uh weather station super cool man you can put them all over your house and things like that i'm not your house but outside or inside anything you want to do but a uh, really really cool thing it's just add-ons and i think they're going to continue to make add-ons and that's what's really cool i think they got a leak detector too that they just came out with um so um and all this will go to alerts to your phone so you know this is the major number two Number two thing, big thing with this is just just with the 2000 the 5000 model and some of the other models too with certain things. Um, very very cool thing, you know, lightning detector things like that. I mean that just sounds cool, and I, I can't wait to get one. Looks like there's more coming in July um, of this year, 2020. So looking forward to that. That's a big cool thing. Let's move on to the All next. Alright guys, one. so this is where my extra sensor sits. This is my carport, as you can tell. Um, they say to face it uh, towards the north and mine is facing towards the north uh, but that's it right there uh, nothing much to it like I said you can get eight different ones so um, pr pr pretty cool add-on that you can do to make this weather station right, even guys. better alright guys so this is where my actual sensor array sits it's on my roof I live in a neighborhood and there's just not a really good spot to put it at all. Um, I have trees in the west direction that kind of block some wind. But I made a whole video on issues uh, making the best out of your situation to where uh, putting, trying to put your weather station. Uh, so I'm not going to get too deep into my location but I have it on a, on a pipe here, on an old antenna pipe from uh, probably like a satellite dish or something like that. Uh, Tipping gauge right here for rainfall. Temperatures right here, radiation protector here. Now I get a little heat that radiates from my roof, so it kind of skews my uh, temperatures a little bit in the summer by a degree or two, but not too bad. But it's just over my roof line, enough to get winds out the east. Uh, this does how fast your wind's going. This does the direction of the wind. Not a lot of wind flow right now, but um, super cool aspect to it. Check it out here to where you can see if it's level or not. I don't know if I got it high enough, but that is my sensor array. So, um, not a whole lot to it, but this is a cool, cool thing. And you know what? I should like to show this in my video, but if you can tell and look down here, I do have a Kokora station down here because sometimes your weather station is going to read a little bit higher, depending on how heavy the rain's going. But I tell you what, um, it doesn't read much higher, it, it is pretty accurate very accurate weather station for the price so um you know that's pretty much my review guys um drop a like if it's going to help you at all maybe decide to buy it if this was helpful at all um very cool weather station and um i hope that this helped you guys some like i said subscribe appreciate it would definitely appreciate it i'm going to try to get the lightning uh detector and the soil detector and things like that to uh, review those too so um like subscribe appreciate y'all watching and um y'all have an awesome day